If you are taking calculus 1, then this is for you. Let me show you guys the example that I typically give my students in class. And let me tell you guys that the biggest part in calculus 1 is to learn about how to take the derivative and also the applications. And let's just talk about how to differentiate everybody's favorite function, and that's x squared. And I know you guys don't like the definition of derivative, so let's just use the power rule, meaning that we can just put a 2 to the front and a minus 1, and the answer is just nicely equal to 2x, and then we are done. Now, this is the question that I'm going to give my students on the test. So, here is the deal. Of course, everybody likes the power rule, so I will still give you guys the power rule question. And everybody likes x squared, so let's put down x squared. But I know hmm, I cannot just put on the same exact question on the test, right? I want to make it slightly more challenging. And you guys like x squared a lot, so let's do x squared and then x squared like this. So, what do we do with this? Well, it's okay, I'll show you guys. So if you learn this, then you can get maybe like a two points on the test. First off, let me explain the notation right here. This means we are taking the derivative of x2, x2, right? But we actually look at x to the second power here first, so we do have the x squared, and then we do two to that power, and then we do x to that power. So we cannot just multiply the two and the x squared together, it's not like the power to the power. This is not the same as, right, this is not the same as taking the derivative of x squared with the parentheses like this and then x squared, all right? This right here um, may be on the practice test. This is on the test. But anyway, so just make sure that you interpret it carefully. This is not a, this is not a way to interpret that. This is, all right? So keep that in mind. All right, so how do we do this? Well, check this out. We have a function for the base, and technically the power here is also a function. So in that case, you really want to have base e instead of, x, instead of base x. So let's look at the x right here, and let's just do the usual thing. We want to have the e, so let's put down the e, but just make sure that you multiply it up. You raise that to the ln x power like this. And then you raise this guy to the 2x squared power like so. All right, so we purposely write the x as that because you see e and ln cancel, so we do have the x back, right? Now you see, when we have e to this power and then to that power, we can multiply this and that together. So this right here is the same as, and notice that we haven't done anything with calculus yet. But anyway, we have the e for the base, and then we just multiply this and that. So I'll put down 2 to the x squared power like so, and then multiply by ln x like this, and then parentheses that. Cool. Now, let's do the derivative. Check this out. Whenever we have e to the something, the derivative that's just going to be e to the same thing. So let's write down e to the 2x squared power times ln x. All right, and here is going to be the most important part of calculus 1, namely, we have to use the chain rule. So we multiply by the derivative of the inside function. But this right here is a product of two functions, so we also have to use the product rule. So here we go. We will keep the first function, which is 2x squared, and then we multiply by the derivative of the second. The derivative of ln x is just 1 over x. Done for the first part. And then we add the second function, which is ln x, and then we multiply by the derivative of the second function, well, of the first function. How do we do it? Let me make it super clear for you guys. When we differentiate 2 to the x squared, so let me just make a note real quick. Because the base is already a number, so this is not so bad. But the thing is, the base right here is a 2. So, um, let me just write down the answer first and I'll tell you guys a note. What we do is, if we have a number to a function for the power, this right here just repeat first. So we have 2 to the x squared power, but we will have to multiply by ln of the base, which is the 2 right here, all right? And then we utilize the chain do one more time. So we multiply by the derivative of this guy, which is the x squared here. So I will multiply by 2x. So this right here is actually the derivative of that. Okay? And the reason that we multiply by this ln2 is because this is the node of the node. <laughs> of the node. We use this formula when we differentiate this, when we have a number b for the base raised to some power x, 
And I have done a video on this before already, so go ahead and check that out. Why the derivative of an exponential function is the following. So check that out. But here's the answer. The answer for this is you first have b to the x, but you multiply by ln of the b, right? L of the base. And of course, you don't necessarily have to put on the parentheses because just one b inside, so it's okay like that. But anyway, I'm going to put on the 2x right here first, and then um, maybe that later because that way it's more clear and multiply by 2 to the x squared and then ln2. Yeah. Okay. What can we do next? Uh, now that's about all right. So the answer is going to look like this. First off, what's this? It's just that. And what's that? It's just this, which is the same as that, which is just that. That's just the original. So let's write down this as x2, x2, yeah? Okay, and then for this right here, we can't really simplify anything. So I'll write yes, 2 to the x squared over x. And then for this, usually we like to put down polynomials before anything. So we add 2x and then multiply by ln x and then multiply by ln2. Unfortunately, we cannot combine this and that in any way, so we'll just leave it like that. And then we multiply by 2x squared. Oh, maybe we could have factored out the 2x squared. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to factor out the 2x squared. So I'm going to erase this a little bit. All right, so I'm going to erase this a little bit. Okay. So the first part will just have 1 over x, and then this guy is still x2, x2, yeah? But then as I mentioned earlier, we factor out this guy, so that will be in the front. So 2x squared times that, and then multiply by that. And the equal sign is, shouldn't be there, so I'll put it down right here. Hoo -hoo. Usually, usually, we like to put down the number before the function, so let's put down ln2 times, no, I don't want to count, just, yeah, so, yeah, 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 that, that's about all, and if you guys want to know uh, what will be on my final exam, here is the question, all right, you guys can probably guess it already, let's do x2, 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 all right, so if you want to get like two points on the final exam, then you do this. By the way, that's it for this video.